Romo has time. Romo finds a wide open Witten. So Witten has caught two, both over the middle. That time he was free as a bird. Four yard line is the back as they begin this drive near midfield. The fake to him. And then the pass to Barber. And Barber gets into giant territory. And he'll pick up a lot more than a first down as he goes all the way inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Before fullback, so they're in the high formation and they can't get on a power play. And here is Barber going to the outside. He's able to turn the corner, pick up the first down, get inside the 10, dives for the end zone, and gets in for the touchdown. And Hoyt makes a nice block here. Right there, there's Oliver Hoyt. He makes the block. Marion Barber gets in behind him, bounces to the outside. Poor giant tackle. Now, again, the rule is now when he's airborne, the ball has to be inside the outside of the pylon. <laughs> That's right. That ball was inside at the outside of the pylon. Their identification. Third down and seven. And he's stepping up. And that gets picked off at the 40-yard line. And that is Jacques Reeves getting the start tonight because of the injury to Terrence Newman. Good job. It doesn't make any difference. Third and 11, they give Romo the time. Case in point, touchdown. Jason Witten over the middle. This drive started there, 22. Now from the Giants, 22. Going to the end zone. Owens, can he hold on to it? Yes, he can for the touchdown. One hand, a juggle, has to get both feet in and did for a 22-yard touchdown. You know what he's thinking where the heck was that in the first half they got him involved then they got him playing like this he comes in motion and and just that big hand stretches out catches it with the one hand brings it into his body but that's that's where Terrell Owens is so big is that is that when he can move and he can come across the field he's still in a celebration as a matter of fact and they're ready to kick the 33 yard line you got Marion Barber Starting this drive in the backfield. Owens in motion, following the screen. And Romo to throw over the middle. And you know who's there? Jason Witten. Once again, big first half and a big play here in the third quarter. Right, and it goes with a play action pass. I mean, they do this so well. Go play action pass, hold the linebacker a little, and then get Jason Witten just working that middle in between the hashes. That has been there all night. See the play action pass sucks those linebackers up so Witten can get in behind them and then that gives him pass protection time and he's wide open. 38 yard gain. Romo wanted them to pick up the pace. The problem was the right tackle Mark Colombo was shaken up and it took all of about 15 seconds for him to get back down to the line of scrimmage. From the 29 yard line here's Barber. To the outside, he picks up the first down, and a few more to about the 10. Romo flushed out, gonna run for a touchdown. I have seen yeah. that happen before. I have, I, I, I've, I've seen where a kicker hyperventilated. From the 29-yard line, Romo throws. That's caught over the middle by Creighton. And Patrick Creighton is in the giant territory. Second and 11. Romo over the middle. Owens inside the 20, the 10, and another TOTD. And then a flag after the end of the play. The picture we just saw there of Eli Manning talking to the doctor is not a picture you like to see if you're a giant. Hmm. Tyson Thompson from the goal line. And Thompson will give the Cowboys good field position on defense. Witten, of course, lives over the middle. Romo looks to the outside, finds the open man, and this time it's Sam Hurd, his first catch of the night, touchdown. 51 yards on a third and seven to a guy who wouldn't have played at all in all likelihood.
likelihood if Terry Glenn had been healthy tonight. Heard normally the number four guy becomes number three tonight. All right, Sam Hurd gets inside R.W. McQuarters. Watch him, he's up here on top. He gets the inside right there, and Romo zips it in. I mean, boy, did Tony Romo get back there and quickly get rid of that ball, and he put it right on target. First to 10 for the Cowboys from their own 20, as Romo dumps it off underneath to Julius Jones. And Jones is able to pick up a first down, tiptoeing down the sidelines, and finally tackled at the 44-yard line after a 24-yard gain. They were just technique errors, so you kind of seeing that he was exactly right. Green going deep, and it is picked off. A catch so far today. Third down and six. Romo does a 360. Can't find anyone downfield. And now he takes off. He has a first down. Well, each opponent knows the other. On second and six, Green taken oh, down man. inside the two-yard line on the blitz from Brady James. Came free. I mean, he just got completely turned loose. Nobody there to pick up Brady James at all. Here he's coming. Samson Stadella, he's got a recognized first threat. I mean... Nice job coming up there on the line of scrimmage, but... Cowboys have to get to midfield for a first down. Romo fires. Owens hangs on. A first down. Fields punting from the 20. Forcing Creighton all the way back to the 16-yard line. Good coverage downfield. Terrific special teams work by the Dolphins, a 53-yard punt. No. Let's see what this does for the Dallas Cowboys in field position. They were going to start at their 15. This is one of those, you know, little penalties. You do a re-kick, advantage goes to the return team. Another good kick by Fields, taken at the 21 by Creighton. Wow. Creighton across midfield. What a turn of events for the Cowboys following the penalty. First and goal from the Dolphins, two. Romo in trouble. He throws. Oh. Touchdown. There's a flag as well. The catch is made in the end zone by Tony Curtis. The third string. Green six of eight here in the third quarter. Oh. Making six of nine. He's picked off for the second time today. Ken Hamlin, the former Seahawk. From the 49 on first down. Green looking for Chambers and is picked off. Second of the game for Henry. The fourth Dolphins turnover. Not to send out their field goal kicker. They will go for it on fourth and four with a 10 point lead from the Dolphins 34 yard line. Romo looking for Owens. He makes the catch and he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Terrell Owens. of play calling of Jason Garrett the last two weeks. Fourth and four, kind of a critical part. It's going to be the last chance. He got flagged again. Shocking. Shocking. He doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> but I, mean, I just love the play call by Jason Garrett. He's not trying to get first down. He's going to have something called where if he has the opportunity to put the nail in the coffin, he's going to do it. He'll have himself protected with some outs that'll potentially get him the first down, but he's going for touchdown. I love the way he has called the game the first two weeks of the season. And then the flag for the excessive celebration. Folk adding the extra point. The 117th career touchdown reception. For Terrell Owens. Again, late in the game, kind of sealing it, going up against Travis Daniels. Just gives a little stutter go. I don't know if that was eye contact between Terrell Owens and Tony Romo that extended that route. Marion Barber. Oh. Found the hole. Bob 
Campbell with his second touchdown today. A 40-yard run into the end zone. Well, you've got your entire defense up crowded around the line of scrimmage. Once you break that initial wave, there was nobody there for the Miami Dolphins. You're just, you're just stacking the line of scrimmage, trying to prevent anything bad from happening. Look at all the guys. Everybody's pressuring. Kick out blocked by Oliver Hoyt. Zach Thomas gets caught coming over the top, trips a little bit. Ronaldo Hill was the only person who had a shot at Marion Barber. Green on second and ten is picked off for the fourth time today. It's Roy Williams. It's the fifth Miami turnover. I go. Bears trying to cash in off a turnover. It's second down and six here. Grossman throwing, and that one is picked off. So he gives it right back. Anthony Henry. And Henry will run it all the way back out to the 35-yard line. On the Grossman, a number one draft choice out of Florida. And Tony not only undrafted, but just sat on the bench for three years. Back to pass is Romo. Over the middle. Getting open is the tight end, Witten. Normally, he loves to get Witten in the middle of the field. Witten that time went down the middle of the field, worked his way to the outside. Big gainer there for a first down, 34 yards. Now you watch Witten. He's going to come in motion here across the field. Then he comes up and goes back across the other way. And talking to Tony Romo last night about Jason Witten, he said, He's so big that he said, even if I'm looking right or I'm looking left, I'll see Jason Witten. In. First and 20, back at the 35. Erlocker's creeping up, and he's going to blitz. That doesn't happen that often. And then Witten gets free again to the outside. And Did she ever flew on an airplane? I said, I can understand your mother. Second down and 16, and Grossman gets sacked back at the four-yard line, and we talked about the emerging star in DeMarcus Ware. And maybe he talked him into letting him go for it. So they line up in the shotgun. They send Owens in motion, and they will go for it on fourth and three. And Romo's throw is caught by Owens. So a big gamble, and it pays off at the 28-yard line. Pretty tough to get around. Third down and seven from the 39-yard line. Romo stepping up, hit from behind, gets it off, catch made, Owens. Second down and goal. Off the fake, to the end zone, touchdown to Witten. Can be successful in this situation. Romo over the middle, Owens. What a night for this guy. And look at this, he's not done yet. Out to the 47-yard line, Sam Hurd threw a real nice block to help spring him for even more yardage. So out of a hole they come from third and 11 to first down near midfield, 35 yards. Here we're talking about that wide rush that the Cowboy that the Bears use, and you can see. Look at the middle that they give Tony Roma there. Not not only can he step up to throw in there, but he has great vision in the middle. And then you bring Terrell Owens across, and you're going to see everything that he does. Up at the 43. 5.20 to go in the third. Romo slings it wide open. That's Bird, and that's Archuleta again. So, boys have 14 first downs tonight. That's their first rushing. Swing pass. Barber cuts it back inside. Inside the five breaking tackles. Goes in for the touchdown. Broke out of an Adam Archuleta tackle. So, Adam had a series to forget getting blocked getting over late on the long pass down the right sideline and having a tackle broken here for a tie breaking touchdown 16 10 right great running by Marion Barber after he caught that ball because those are the types of things that the Bears do well you know fly to the ball tackle well those kinds of things that time Marion Barber did it better than the Bear defense did. Marion Barber is going to get the ball out here on the right side. He was looking for Jason Witten, I think. So instead of throwing it to Witten, he throws it to Barber, and Jason Witten becomes a blocker. And then Barber just said, hey, enough of this. Makes one miss there, makes another miss there, and then runs it into the end zone. Now, Tackle and strip and do those kinds of things. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. Grossman will go deep down the sideline. That is picked off. And that's Henry with his second and fourth in two weeks. Inside the 10 and a touchdown.
Keith Jackson would say, whoa, Nelly. All right, that's exactly what the Cowboys needed and exactly what the Bears didn't need. And what they needed was a good drive, keep their defense off the field, let them get rested, and instead they get this. I mean, that's that's that, that, that play didn't have a chance. I mean, he had a rush, and you talk about throwing into a crowd. Look at this. See, Demarcus Ware got there and kind of deflected the ball. Grossman. Ooh, here comes the crowd again. Anthony Spencer with a sack. Had a nice little talk with Romo. And just to paint the picture, as Barber breaks one into the secondary, inside the 30, the 20, inside the 10, and all the way to the one yard line. I tell you, it's paying off right now. I mean, this Dallas offensive line has done an outstanding job all night. And they wore this bear defense down. And, and it finally pays off now. I mean, here they get, and they just get a body on a body on a body on a body, and Marion Barber is able to run right through them. But this is the effect of three quarters. I mean, this is what happens. You know, like in a fight, someone gets knocked out in the 10th or 11th or 12th, and it's effect of what you did in 7, 8, and 9. This is the effect of this big offensive line getting on this defense for three quarters and stuff like that. Whenever you talk about Chicago Bears and offense and quarterbacks, eventually you will get back to Sid Luckman. And there's another interception by Williams. Roy Gerard, the center, just snaps it clean over Tony Romo's head. And, you know, initially, Romo can't even pick it up clean. You got two defenders there trying to go for the ball as opposed to Romo. This is a 30 second timeout. And Romo with the awareness of knowing where he's got to go to get to the first down. You don't think they'll be showing this clip for years to come, do you? The legend just grew. <laughs> I mean, how embarrassed right now are the St. Louis Rams? It was. There's a lot of comparisons between the two. Even Favre himself says that they're valid. Extra men on the rush for St. Louis. Wide open is Creighton. Patrick Creighton making the moves. 19 yards. You know, first it's Romo, now it's Patrick Creighton. He, he put a little Jimmy on Lenny Walls. I mean, Emmett Smith didn't look that good on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Just get the play away. Romo steps up. Good run, and why not? Touchdown! So caught up in trying to cover Jason Witten out of the backfield and Terrell Owens and these other crossing routes that you're in man coverage and the guy you can't account for then is the quarterback and the only way to hold him in the pocket again is with those front four in man coverage nobody is accounting for Tony Romo he recognizes that and has an easy touchdown his second touchdown run of the season to the game in place of Mark Colombo. Leonard comes off the edge. The pass is complete to Creighton. Creighton down the sideline. Patrick Creighton will cruise in for the score. Jonathan Wade was the only one who had a shot, and they were, I guess, I don't know who's going to be on Terrell Owens or whoever, but they pick up the flag, and after this 
missed tackle by Lenny Walls. It was a race, and Patrick Creighton won it. Well, Lenny Walls has been beaten a couple times. Once there for a big touchdown, and then earlier we saw it with Jason Witten. He's not when they've been in one-on-one -on -one coverage. Julius Jones was in the backfield. Creighton is hit in stride. His second of the day. What a throw. Creighton doesn't run by a lot of people. And the fact that he was able to run by Lenny Walls gives you a pretty good indication of Lenny Walls and where he's at as a corner in this league. Because so far in this game, Lenny Walls hasn't covered too many people. Pressure off the edge, pass is easily picked off. Intercepted by Ken Hamlin, and he'll never have an easier one. None of those things have happened in 07. Whoa, whoa. Romo fires Creighton. Why not? His career day continues. Dragged down by Jonathan Wade. It's not what the Dallas Cowboys are about this year. They will continue to be aggressive and play their ball. Barber. Nobody can bring him down. Poor tackling by the Rams and Marion Barber down to the 33. And they got a pretty good beat on how they're going to attack him. Rollout by Romo. Throws wide open. Witten who tap dances in for the touchdown. <laughs> Not even Brett Barber. Here's Thompson. Making a move on the edge and Tyson Thompson tripped up in midfield. Night. Patrick Creighton back deep to receive. Pro Bowl punter Brian Mormon to kick it away. Faith. Mormon. First down. Romo to throw from his end zone. Has time. Intercepted down the middle. George Wilson. Touchdown, Buffalo. Dallas quick out of the huddle. Romo first down throw is intercepted. The round is jumped by Angelo Crowell. And Try Lynch again. Not going to get there again. And the Dallas defense comes up with a response. Brady James of LSU. ESPN all that time, by the way. But thanks for the check in, Crowell. Third down, Romo. Pressure throws. T.O. goes up in the air. Are you saying it's personal? Play action, first down to Romo, up top, Witten. Oh, what a great job to haul it in for a Cowboy touchdown. Two guys on the same page all season long. Witten, four catches on the drive, four touchdowns on the season. Once again, you see the clean release by Jason Witten. You've got to hold him up. Keith Ellison's not going to be able to run down the hole with Jason Witten. Terrific throw by Tony Romo. You get man coverage, you put a linebacker on Jason Witten. This is what's going to happen. Is now in on first and goal. And Edwards throws to Roscoe Paris. That water bug with speed is met with a hard hit by former first round pick Terrence Newman. First and 10, but 89 yards to go. Deflected in the air and caught for the touchdown by Chris Kelsey. Unbelievable! Yeah. Brian Mormon, a fake punt after Buffalo picked up one first down on his first drive, kept the drive alive, and then Mormon kicked it out of bounds to two. Those hidden yards put the Cowboys back, and on the third play, after two runs gained no yards, former receiver turned starting safety George Wilson a pick six, seven nothing. Then, after Dallas got it to seven seven, Buffalo kicked a field goal, and that deflection and Jones, the running back, T.O. top of the screen. Romo looking the other way. Another interception. Jabari Greer circling back for blocks at the 43rd down and five. Romo's hit as he throws. Great grab by Sam Hurd into field goal range at the 30, but they have no timeouts. But they need to kill the clock. It's going to be tight. Dallas getting in position. 
and killing the clock with three seconds remaining. What a terrific job by all the players because bodies were everywhere after that play broke down. And a gutsy throw by Tony Romo. The pressure was on. He had to lay it down the middle of the field to Sam Hurd. It was tough. It was a tough throw. It was into a crowd. You'll see it right here. The pressure comes on Tony Romo. Steps up in the pocket and this is lays it out there and boy it's like they're dropping that uh, that 50 cents in the, in the total booth. You know just got to drop in there nice and easy and he did. Nick Folk, rookie kicker from 47. At the back end of the half, what a big completion by the Cowboys. A half where Buffalo had all the momentum. Tio's been thrown to six times. He only has one catch. Third and eight. Romo. Good throwing on the run. Locates Creighton. Beautiful move to hurdle tackler. And Creighton down the sideline. He came back from that to have a great start this year. Give him a little time off right in the in the locker room. Maybe he comes back fresher. They're all dead. Terrence McGee the return. A good kick return. McGee hit the opening. McGee has the kick of the beat. He's past him. Being chased down by Sam Hurd. Will not catch him. Touchdown, Buffalo. History has been quite kind to this team over the last 10 years. Edwards held on to it too long. Now we'll see the ground. And on second down, he makes one man miss, but lost the football again. And at the bottom of the pile, Buffalo tried to pull it under their arm. So from the 41, it is Edwards. Throwing to Dwayne Wright, the rookie out of Fresno State. Knocked out by Terrence Newman. Down here, very much in field goal range at the 11. Thomas blocks Roy Williams. Edwards throws an interception. Terrence Newman has a convoy. Edwards trying to chase him down. Lee Evans trying to chase him down. And they get to Newman. The ball comes out and is ruled still live. Has not been whistled dead. Down put on the spot again. Romo's been intercepted four times. Five times. Intercepted again by John DiGiorgio. And the middle linebacker comes down the sideline. Linebacker that makes the play. The pizza man, as Tony would say. <laughs> <laughs> DiGiorgio out of Saginaw Valley State. Small college. Five. First and goal from the four. Romo throws. And the touchdown is scored by Patrick Creighton. And now a two-point conversion to try and tie the game. And the Cowboys go empty. No one in the backfield. Five wide receiver look. Romo's got it. He throws for Terrell Owens, who has it taken away by Jabari Greer. Former Bills coach might see a disappointing night on his return to Western New York. But again, there's still time. An onside kick attempt is coming as you look at Ralph Wilson Jr., the owner of the Bills. That's the question. Is Buffalo, a trip to Buffalo, going to be unkind once again to Wade Phillips? He lost his job here some years back. Onside kick. The big bounce comes. It is a live ball and recovered first by the Cowboys. And they have it at the 47-yard line. They would need here about 12 yards. They have no timeouts left. Tony Curtis, third string tight end, makes the recovery. Discussion going on with the officials, so let's wait a second. But no time went off, came off the clock. That's what they're talking about. Sam Hurd got in there to make the initial contact and break up the ball. And no man coverage up there to deter that route. Folks' career long in college is 52. This is 53 for the win. Nick Folk is on line. Is it long enough? The Cowboys win. But no, a timeout called by Buffalo. <laughs> what? They pulled. A Mike Shanahan moment and call for time before Prior the kick. the snap, Buffalo calls a timeout. Prior to the snap, Buffalo calls a timeout. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. So Mike Shanahan did this to the Raiders three weeks ago. The Raiders returned the favor to Cleveland two weeks ago. And it's one of those gray areas where you wait till the very last second. The coach can call a timeout. And right next to him, Dick Geron says, uh, you ready? You ready? I'm going to give you a go. Timeout. Go. 
Wow, what a call by Dick Turan. He has been stoic all day it's waiting for that one. To it's a great it. call. Yeah. And you know what? It's a terrible rule. It's a terrible no, it rule. Isn't. No, yes, it of is. course it is. Why? Yeah, because Why? You, you do this, it's just nuts it's to be able, when the ball is just about to be snapped, to be able to call that time. They it's have called to change strategy. That it's strategy. It's within the rules. I'm yes. saying it's a yes. terrible rule. Yeah. Is he going to kick it again? What do you think, Mike? Is he going to get another it again? timeout? Again for the win. Again from 53 yards. This kick is online again and again. It is good. And the Cowboys oh. stun the bill. Oh. 25 to 24. A remarkable game in Buffalo. What do you have to do to win if you're Buffalo? Everything went their way and not this. The flag is after the play. You heard Pete Morelli say that the field goal is good. Nick Folk with the that's all folks moment from 53. This wow. Is like last year when, when Arizona lost to Chicago at the end. What did Arizona have to do to win? What did Buffalo finally have to do to win? It, it was not to be. Unbelievable. Five interceptions, a recovered fumble. Stroked it beautifully. T.O. very excited. Wow, what a rally by the Dallas Cowboys. What are the odds that that over. rookie kicker is going to do that twice, twice in a row? From career distance, twice in a row. Well, Tony Romo throws five interceptions tonight, but becomes the first Cowboy quarterback ever to have three straight 300-plus yard passing games. And Jerry, yes, we won the game. Yeah. Jerry Jones and Michael Irvin in there. Here's Michelle Tafoya with Tony Romo. Michelle. Okay, Tony, <laughs> what's going through your mind during both of those field goal attempts? I was just hoping he'd make it. Uh, he got me out of the doghouse tonight, and I played pretty poor tonight, but our team's very resilient, and the guys, they stuck with me, and they, they stuck together, and just a great job battling back. First half four interceptions. What was going through your mind at that point? Really? It was four? Yes, it was. <laughs> then there, was uh, there was one more in the second half, just for the record. I thought there was about seven in the first half. <laughs> you know, you just, you know, a couple of those are just, one was just a, I mean, I don't even know. I played poorly. I mean, the bottom line is I threw, you know, I put our team in a hole early on, and they did a great job digging me out, and I just thought they rallied, and God, they've they got a great bunch of guys in there, I tell you what. Second down and eight. They get to Brady and knock him down. Just shove him down. That's DeMarcus Ware. He thought Barber has the first down. Stiff arm on Hobbs. Fights him again. This is what you need. You need somebody. Hey, make a play. There it is. Not only does he make a play, nice stiff arm. And then look at the, the players on the sideline. Oh, he see, there's some meanness to it. And that's what they're lacking so far. So Marion Barber gives it to him. In games in his first three games with a new team. Maybe with a touchdown today. The ball is out. The Cowboys have a chance to run it in. The ball comes right in the arms of Hatcher. And the Cowboys defense comes up with the score. Greg Ellis. The one who forced the fumble on Brady. Jason Hatcher runs it back for the score. It's the coverage. Down the field, the coverage. It makes Tom Brady hold the ball much longer on a quick drop. And Greg Ellis, the backup to the outside linebacker. They pick up Seau on the blitz over the top. Whitten. Cowboys are set up inside the 30. Oh, right the old Cowboy offensive lineman getting in the rhythm too. Pass blocking is getting better as the game goes on. Another one by Witten. And he takes Harrison with him across the first down. This drive, three penalties. Better hurry, got the snap just in time. Here comes the blitz. The pass, it's Owens, and T.O. says, Randy Moss, I've got one too. Here they come. 
Terrell Owens coming in motion. Watch Tony Romo get deeper, buy some time. Oh, and hot. If two defenders run into each other. Well, they were unloading. They, they were, were coming in with Harrison and others. Oh, dangerous throw, tough. Tony Romo must have saw there was nobody in front of Terrell Owens. And at the last second, you could see the two defenders for New England run into each other. It's Hobbs and Samuel. Yep. Asante Samuels on the coverage. That's why you cross receivers in the middle of the field when you think the defense is going to be aggressive. Because it makes it hard for defenders to keep chasing. They got to worry about running into somebody. Foot on the gas and they go after you. Look at this burst of speed. That's Julius Jones breaking tackles. He was able to step right through Eugene Wilson. Also, Rodney Harrison early on that run before Sanders and others broke him out, bumped him out, 25 yards. Leonard Davis, good block up front. Mark Colombo, good block. And Julius Jones, let me in this thing, he says. And he is a different style runner than Marion Barber. He's fast and he's quick. And look at the blocking. Patrick Clay Creighton on the outside allows Julius Jones to go for a long run. His longest run of the season puts the Cowboys in New England territory. He's going to get another carry. And again, he ducks under the first hit. He's not down yet. Nope. First and goal from the eight. Fake to Jones. To the end zone. Touchdown, Patrick Creighton. And they run it. Barber better be careful. They've got him in the end zone. Asani Samuel has a shot. Now Green, how does he escape? Unbelievable run by Marion Barber to save two points. I did not hear a whistle, but they were about ready to come in and mark this ball down. On about the one foot line. That's what I thought. But Marion Barber stays after it. Say what? That was close to going all the way. In the first down run with room. Shoots to the outside. Wants to take on Rodney Harrison again. On eight grabs, including a pair of touchdowns. While well, Moss has a touchdown, but only 23 yards total. Three catches. The run back by Thompson. Gostowski, the kicker, can't slow him down. Thompson taken off inside the New England 25. Has completed his first six pass attempts. Ninth play of the drive for the Cowboys. Third down and two. Romo rolling right, directing traffic, throws downfield to Owens. And Terrell Owens picks up another Cowboys first down. Forced to throw. On third and goal, high snap. Romo fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Terrell Owens. Let's see what the Cowboys have in mind. From the 25, off the play fake to Barber. Romo for Owens. Makes the catch and gets clobbered. Taylor, play fake. Jackson with time. And the throw intended for Bobby Wade. At 14-14, that puts them at a real disadvantage going into this fourth quarter. 49-yard attempt. Chloe will put it down for Ryan Longwell. It's blocked. Into the hands of Patrick Watkins. Watkins will take it all the way. Patrick Watkins with a Cowboys touchdown. Well, it looked like Chris Canny got his hands on it. He's 6'7", so he's a big body. And when you're kicking a longer field goal here, there's Chris Canny, 99. He stretches out, and when you're kicking a 
a field goal of that distance. So it has been 24 years since the Cowboys blocked a field goal and returned it for a score. Well, it's a good job because, again, as a defensive lineman, you know that any time a kicker's kicking a field goal from that distance, the trajectory of the ball is going to be relatively flat in order to get the distance needed to cross the crossbar. And so if you get any kind of pressure in the middle and lay out, as Kenny did, you're able to get your hand on the ball and then just... Adrian, who rushed for a franchise record 224 yards last week against Chicago. Peterson lost the football. And the Cowboys have recovered the Peterson fumble, Brady James. Big play coming up for the Vikings defense, third down and two. Barber, first down and more. Barber fights his way by the American League. American League with home field advantage. Who will it be, the Red Sox or the Indians? Barber. Look at Marion Barber go. Twenty-four more yards, and that is the longest run against the Vikings this season. You know, he's got his own highlight reel each and every week. I mean, you just watch the way that this guy runs the football, and and how I don't know what more you can say about him that hasn't already been said. He's tough. He's hard to bring down. He never quits. He never runs out of bounds. I mean, he embodies all the things that you'd like to see in any running back. The Vikings have called their last timeout, stopping the clock with 2.09 remaining in the fourth quarter. McNabb will start from the shotgun on first down from the 36 yard line. Westbrook stays in the block. And then McNabb, with everybody covered, loses the ball, and the Dallas Cowboys have recovered. At the right, and that's what you call a coverage sack because he had plenty of time here. You see, and then he steps up and he buys some more time. He looks down, there's no one open, no one to throw to, and then Spears gets there. The thing is, when he when he when he starts to feel that pressure and he's going up in the middle of the pocket, he has to figure I can during the bye week. We've had a tough enough time since the retirement of Troy Aiken finding anybody. And third down now. It is caught by Owens, and that move picks up the first down and a lot more. And Owens takes it all the way to the 10-yard line. He's run. Barber is in the game. The fake to him on third and one. That buys Romo a ton of time, but the 30 secondary does good work. And then a dump off to Barber. And Barber inside the 40 and all the way down to the 32 yard line for a first down. Right. And it's just the type of thing we were talking about. Tony Romo getting outside the pocket into his right. And that's that's what Jim Johnson didn't want. He wanted to keep him in the pocket or make him come to his left. You see, he has time here, time here, very good protection. Then he gets out of the pocket. Where does he go? He goes to the right. And the thing that always impresses me about him is, is as he's running, he always has his, his eyes upfield looking to make a completion. Well, his father, Marion Jr., played with the Jets, both went to the University of Minnesota. This is Marion the third, and he's still in the game, and the fake to him again. And Romo this time again improvising fence it off to Barber again and that's another first down so two plays in a row where he fakes to Barber Barber goes out into the pattern and makes the catch that was good for 14 the prior play was good for 22 here goes Barber again and Barber is inside the five and takes it to the two yard line Deion Anderson the fullback that was a 16 yard run he stays in the game. Two receptions and a run, and now another fake to him. And Romo will throw to the back of the end zone and leaping up and making the catch for the touchdown is Tony Curtis, the number three tight end. Tony Curtis who put a big pass in that game in Buffalo when they came from behind and produced that miracle finish on the 53-yard field goal. Tony Curtis, second-year tight end out of Portland State for the touchdown. Here you have your goal line offense which is three tight ends. You go a bootleg. The the coverage was pretty good by 37 Sean Considine there. But Romo makes a perfect throw. Second and ten. 
McMahon is going to throw back, and that screen is busted up and read beautifully by Brady James. They set it up, and in came Brady James, and nobody blocked him. The 20 yard line is Romo throws to Owens. Perfect pass, beautifully delivered along the left sideline at the 44 yard line for a gain of 24. And they're just giving they're just giving Tony Romo all kinds of time and then and then when when you try and press Terrell Owens I mean he is so big and so strong the time they need third down and 10 on the 17 yard line they have time fires over the middle and the interception is returned Ken Hamlin is out of bounds at the 14 so Shepard with a pick and then they return the favor on the interception by the former Seattle Seahawk Ken Hamlin who came over as a free agent to Dallas in the offseason. All right and we were talking about the, the defense. Here's Ken Hamlin right here and you see he's just watching he's just watching McNabb all the way and he's just watching his eyes when he gets to set the throw watch him. He, he's, he's just looking all the way and then he gets a jump and he just undercuts that thing but that's what they get in six defensive back. Jones comes back and you didn't see the stiff arm on that play but he goes one on one with somebody. He's very tough and the pass is caught by Owens who steps out of a tackle and goes to the end zone. Terrell Owens. He has to have something now Al. Right he's got that fly eagle fly thing going in Philadelphia against the Eagles a 45 yard touchdown. You know how can they leave Terrell Owens wide open I mean of all the guys you're going to cover I mean I'd have maybe four guys on him and no one on something else but and no one on someone else but they come on a blitz and there's no one on Terrell Owens. Barber three catches Jones three catches. Romo to the end zone and it is pulled in touchdown Jason Witten against William James so Witten, the tight end who mainly lives over the middle goes to the outside here goes down the sideline stays in bounds makes the catch 20 yard touchdown here's there's Witten. he goes out there motion so he's a tight end but in this case he becomes the wide receiver and he runs right up the boundary and Tony Romo puts it in there perfectly where either Jason Witten is going to catch it or it'll be out of bounds. Coach three teams full time and has been the head coach of two other teams on a, on a fill in basis. And that is over the middle caught by Witten who loses his helmet but still keeps going. A penalty marker is down and Witten takes it to the five yard line. Jason Witten. In a play that you're going to see replayed a lot of times this week, losing his helmet and taking it all the way to the five yard line for the moment, a 53 yard gain. Pending yeah, the call. I, I've always liked him, but now I like him more than ever because, you know, he's a blocker, he's a tough guy. He there is no foul on the play. The receiver had both feet on ground when he was hit. There's no foul. I mean, he can do all those things and then. And then to get hit and lose your hat and keep running without your hat. Ooh. And he, he took, I mean, that is a real blow that, that he took to his helmet head to head. And then he kept running. He's looking, he's looking to the outside. He's looking behind him. Oh, that, that is a whap. When you can do that, then you're, you're a tough football player. I'm not sure I've ever seen a guy, I can't remember a guy running that far without his helmet. First series for his defense. Second and ten, Romo trying to make a play. Fires wide open. Touchdown. Touchdown to Tony Curtis. He'll tell you he scrambles to throw, and he found a wide open Tony Curtis. Well, and you saw him duck there right before he let it go to Curtis. He thought he was gonna, getting ready to get hit. Here's how Curtis got open. They just completely bust the coverage. Nobody went with him at all when he came off the line of the scrimmage. Four-man rush, Manning steps up, throws an interception. Hamlin, Ken Hamlin picks it off for Dallas and now picks his way through the Giants' offense and returns it inside the New York 40. Turn. Yeah, we're going to see they come in at his feet, and when they do, right there with the right hip, I don't know if that's what kept him from being able to get through the throw, but a ball that clearly got away from him high. 
You throw the ball high in that cover two defense, as there was right there on the arm, is what kept him from being able to deliver. Five for five on this drive. Still one timeout left. Pass complete to Creighton. Broken tackle, touchdown Dallas. Well, if you're going to bring pressure, then you've got to be pretty sure in your tackling on the back end of it, and they missed two tackles here, keeping Creighton from being able to score. Third, third down conversion on this drive. Play action from Romo. Going to go for Tio. Dropped it right into his hands. Touchdown. Well, we've seen Sam Madison on Terrell Owens a lot tonight. Madison tries to get his hands on Owens, and then once he misses, Owens just has too much speed, and Sam Madison can't run like he used to. And it's just no contest. That's, if you're going Barber breaks free. First down in midfield. Michael Johnson, the rookie safety, missed on a chance to bring Marion Barber down with a loss on the play. If he had been able to make the tackle there, he keeps him from picking up the first down. But Marion Barber is just a very difficult back to get to the ground. On first down, Romo down the field. Owens again. Big play, Cowboys touchdown, T.O. This offensive line gives him to throw the football. They go with a four-man rush there. And on the outside, it looked like they had Owens pretty well covered, but because of the time, he got in behind Jabril Wilson. There's a safety back there. The safety just did not stay. Romo off his back foot. Terrell Owens, first down. Second down and nine. Pressure from behind to Marcus Ware. Ball is out, and now the fight for the football. Dallas takes over, and it was Dimitri Evans with a huge play. Brings up third and 19. Romo, end zone, T.O. open, touchdown. There was a little confusion to start this play. You see London Fletcher here. He's got his back to the ball when it was snapped. And that's right about the area where Terrell Owens was going to be running through. Now, I'm not saying that London Fletcher had Terrell Owens, but there was clearly some confusion or some communication that was taking place at the time that the Cowboys snapped. Owens. Number 25 on the year for Tony Romo. 14-10. Cowboys on top being a key stat for his defense here today. Witten, beautiful throw. Landry can't bring down Witten immediately, and a completion to Cosby and Jay Novacek, and now Jason Witten, and as well as that running back. That'll make it second and 13. Ball start, number 76, offense. Five-yard penalty, still second down. You know, I just think you look at this Cowboys offense and, and over the year that when they do start out a little slow and they're struggling that whenever they have a big play it kind of ignites them. And, you know we saw that on the big touchdown throw there to Terrell Owens and now they get the ball back here and they've been able to create 
you know a big play as well and and that's what this defense has got to be able to shut down if they can't allow Dallas to get on a roll to where they're take they're picking up big chunks of yardage sixth false start penalty this year on Flozell Adams who's played so well and his walk here a free agent to be another high snap that Romo has to jump up for throws down the middle Tio number three What they're doing here, it's the same play they ran earlier, and he just goes right down the middle. They they showed that they wanted to run him on a deep crossing route. I was with Jason Garrett on Friday afternoon. This is a play they put in just for this game against that coverage, that two deep look. Green Bay at Detroit. Owens left alone. Is it gonna be four? You bet. Touchdown, Dallas. Take a look, Sean Springs, he just gets lazy. He's got safety help, but he's got to carry that. Unless there's somebody coming to the flat that takes him off of that receiver. In cover two, when you have safety help, you continue to trail that receiver, but because he got lazy, and then he didn't get the help he thought he was going to get over the top. Tony. Two downs to get 10 yards. Field goal does nothing. Campbell, nowhere to go with it. Now fires right into the gut of Newman. Well, initially, Jason Campbell, he's working to the left side there. You see pretty good coverage by the Cowboys, and, and that was the look. It, you know, Terrence Newman, he just undercuts it right there. If Antoine randall -L stays a little flatter, I see what he's trying to do but makes for a pretty tough throw there by Jason Campbell. But Pass to T.O. goes for six at second and four. Inside the 40 and taken off is Julius Jones. And then finally Rhodes and Rebus give him the double whammy, but not until the Cowboys advance at another 19. In the last four weeks, five touchdowns over the last four. Kick coming to Leon Washington who has three runbacks on the year, and he fumbles the football and right into the arms of the Cowboys. To be moving around, but it doesn't happen all that frequently. Here from the pocket, he throws, and he's got Witten for the touchdown. Jason Witten from Tony Romo. This Cowboy offense, they go up the field as much as anybody in the NFL. On the outside, Jason Witten, just a little bit of a hesitation, turns it up the field, and the Jets are confused whether they're playing man coverage or zone. And he's picked. Look out. It's Terrence Newman. Terrence Newman's going to take it in for the touchdown. Well, he's not going to like the Cowboys anymore now, and that was just a pure play by Terrence Newman going, please throw it. He had the perfect angle. The quarterback is going to have a hard time recognizing it, and when the football is thrown, what a break by Terrence Newman. He just waited, and you can do that when you have his kind of speed, and the receiver is breaking towards the sideline, so the football has got to stay in the air a little longer, and... Toward the end zone. Ball tipped away. Got to get it to the 46 for a first. They protect him this time. Eventually, it's got to break down. There's just nothing open down the field, and eventually it collapses on Clemens. Total offense. They're, of course, uh, second in the league behind the Patriots in virtually every offensive category, but cruising at 21-3 and running with Parker. Barber finally chopped by. Really? Well, freeing this thing a little upside down, aren't you? Up to 22, second down and eight. Romo Born for Owens. T.O. has the touchdown on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> 22 yards.
You can almost see it. You said it during the last break. They're lulling, lulling them into a play just like this. You know, I tell you, as you watch the play, Rebus on the outside all day long, put it in this position, and he hesitates just a little bit. He slows down, and that's enough for Tony Romo to make the perfect throw. Play. Austin, his third return. Has a lane. Lions gave up one last week, and it's Hansen, the kicker, who forces Miles Austin out of bounds and saves a touchdown. Toss to Barber. Marion Barber, not just a first down, touchdown. Blocking out on the edge. You've got Jason Witten, and then you pull out Mark Colombo and Oliver Hoyt, and all of a sudden you've got a good lane there for Marion Barber. A blitz. Barber, what a throw! Touchdown, Dallas! Everybody coming at Tony Romo. He threw it up in a perfect spot. Wow, what a play by Romo. Really great play, and because they brought people, all of a sudden you've got Dwayne White, a defensive end, who then has to go with Marion Barber into coverage. He was hoping that by trying to reroute him, that that would keep Romo from seeing it and trying to throw the football to him. But a great job by Tony Romo of knowing where he needed to go with the football. And where Under a minute and a half left in the quarter, and there's Witten again. He's going to do today. Good snap, good hold. The kick is no good. Romo throws, Patrick Creighton hit in stride, actually. In Confusion, and Jones is at his own one. Third and four. Pass to Witten. Catch number 12, hangs on to the ball, out to the 36. Knocked away, kicked around, and recovered by Dallas. Downfield, it was Kyle Kozar who fell on top of it. And the clock continues to run. Well, Jared DeVries comes in behind, and then it looked like it might have been Corey Redding who was able to get the ball out of Romo's hand. It's fourth down here. Fourth and six. Romo underneath to Barber, first down, Dallas. Romo's in trouble. Rodgers won't catch him. Witten underneath with a catch, and he is out of bounds with a first down, 34 seconds left. Romo fakes the handoff, Witten, touchdown, Dallas. The legend continues to grow for Tony Romo. It's a great job by Tony Romo and this Cowboys offense just knowing what they needed to do in order to get themselves in a position to where they could take a shot then into the end zone because they didn't have any timeouts. And it's only fitting that Jason Witten was the guy who was on the receiving end of that. And now the rookie Nick Folk with the extra point. He has not missed all season to give the Dallas Cowboys the lead. Good snap, good hold. The kick is good. And the Dallas Cowboys are out in front. Eighteen seconds remain here in Detroit. Jason Witten has had a career day. Makes up for a fumble at the goal line in this fourth quarter with his 15th catch, a 16-yard completion.
and the Cowboys went down the field with a drive that started at their own 17 yard line no timeouts just over two minutes left and like Tom Brady did on Monday night teams not where they're at if Tony Romo's not doing what he's done and for good measure knocked out of the hand of Kidna this game is over the Dallas Cowboys get that last play from Greg Ellis Second and three for one of the few times tonight we see Brett under center. He pitches back Whoa. to Ryan Grant, and he's popped. Roy Whoa. Williams. Oh, my goodness. I think Roy Williams is a little frustrated by the fact that he has not been playing quite as much as he would like. Obviously, when you get in a game like this, there's more defensive backs, more cover corners in the game. And Roy Williams said, don't forget about me. Oh my goodness, he could play middle linebacker and he could play strong safety. <laughs> That's an angry dude right there. First down from the Packers, for the Packers from the 24. Fake that time to Grant, and Favre will throw over the middle. This one's going to be picked off. That's Ken Hamlin. Brad appeared to be hit as he was throwing, I think, Stephen Bowen. Second year man out of Hofstra was the defender who got there and uh, forced Brett to put up a crack. Yeah, I was a little surprised that Brett even considered this when they came out in a two safety look. He goes play action on first down, thinking maybe they can get one over the top, but really the Cowboys didn't really bite on it at all. He took a big shot just as he was throwing, and that's why the ball went off the way that it did. But honestly, it wasn't there anyway. It's a ball that he should not have thrown from the beginning. That's not the Brett we've seen this season. No, and I'm surprised. I don't know why they're thinking they've got to go big because the Cowboys are really playing them pretty softly. Great field position again for Romo and the Cowboys offense from the pack of 41. Romo throwing on the run into the arms of Owens. He's knocked down inside the 10. Nick Collins applying the hit, but it'll be first and goal Cowboys. And that time, the two safeties for the Green Bay Packers got caught snoozing on that one. Nick Collins and Atari Bigby completely bought into the play fake. And a great job by Tony Romo at least checking up the field for T.O. Because initially, their first read so often is as Romo operates from the gun. Romo with lots of time looking for Creighton, finding him touchdown Cowboys speed receivers inside there's a lot of Tampa 2 coverage being played where middle linebackers are expected to be able to run down the middle of the field that time AJ Hawk was trying to run with Terrell Owens and obviously as fast as Hawk is that's a mismatch Atari Bigby trying to catch him over the top but one of the fears that the Packers had is I think because Charles Wilson he's not playing and they don't want Bush to be matched up with T.O. Bush is actually winning the battle with Patrick Creighton he gave up one play. Oh. Oh. Romo to Anthony Fasano, just over the outstretched arm of Jared Bush. Touchdown, Cowboys. Harry Bigby is back there, but the key is watch Tony Romo's helmet. He's going to stare right down the middle of the field at Jason Witten and then come back late. Once he sees Bigby make the move towards Witten, it was over at that point. That hit, read, and react sort of 34. Call it second and 12. This one hit. Fred Arv. Arm was hit as he released it. They're calling this one interception. Cowboys have their second turnover of the night. We'll be back in just a moment. 20 to 10. Dallas. Call it second down. Owens in motion. And once again, Romo oh, with lots good of round. time. Good route. This is easy. Oh, I love it. What a great route. Yeah, but you're talking about your right elbow now. That's a different set of circumstances. Romo throwing long. Owens. He what a play by Ryan Pickett, too. And so Rogers starts the um, second half for the Packers and goes down in a heap. Who he said has replaced Jared Bush. He's got Sam Hurd up there. Romo flushed. Finding Creighton. First, see what Jason Garrett dials up, third and short. This is Barber. He'll get the first down easily. Just tripped up inside the 10. 
just as Brett Favre has had no success here, the Cowboys are 0-5 at Lambeau. This time, Rogers is going to be wrapped up by DeMarcus Ware. Tremont Williams just got baptized at the 18. Keith Davis, their special team specialist, just laid a, um, a lick on him. We waited 59 minutes into this ball game to get some degree of satisfaction. I'd say he got it. Keith Davis with a little <laughs> exclamation point. Second and seven. McNabb down the middle for the tight end. Schobel incomplete. And Schobel got hit by Hamlin, and both are down. Well, it's the same route. I was expecting to see a flag. You see Hamlin come in right there, oh. you know, with the helmet. You know, helmet to helmet on a defenseless receiver. <laughs> Second and ten. Hand off to Westbrook. Westbrook can't shake DeMarcus Ware. He's played great, just signed a new contract extension this week. Second and 11, a little flea flicker. Didn't work. Donovan goes down in the arms of Brady James. Supporting Cassidy had before. McNabb got rid of it, but got a big hit from DeMarcus Ware. And it's fourth and one. And it's David Akers onto the field. I know David Akers, you know, he's been... He's been struggling a little bit from this range all season long. To take long visiting with him to know that he understands exactly where he's going with the football every time he drops back. Throws for Witten. Good move in the open field, and Witten is down inside the 10. Now you think back to that first game between the Cowboys and Eagles and the number of big plays that the that the Cowboys got in the passing game. Now you got Jason Witten who is able to get behind the linebacker level and they just turn him loose. You know the safety there was threatened so much by Terrell Owens on the other side. That Romo looked right throws back and gets picked off intercepted by Quentin Michael. Still on his feet. Gets a big hit, lost the football, and the Cowboys and Marion Barber back on top of it. Tony Curtis leveled the hit. First down, Dallas. From the 26. And it's Westbrook over the right side. And it's DeMarcus Ware. How good is this guy? This season. Cowboys were slow to get off the line. Patrick Creighton downfield hit in stride to the 25. What a throw. Patrick Creighton one-on-one -on -one with Sheldon Brown, and he gets a good release. Sheldon Brown never able to get turned around in a perfect throw by Tony Romo, and at the end of it, takes a pretty good lick. It's a nice job, nice release by Patrick Creighton. A good job of giving Tony Romo room along the sideline to lay the ball out. A rookie from Penn State, a blitz, McNabb brought down by Ware. What a game. Here he is right here, DeMarcus Ware. They run a twist. They take the two tackles, and they break, They run them outside. They bring DeMarcus Ware. Because of Romo's thumb, and they're making it all comfortable for him. First and goal, and Romo will throw it this side to T.O. Side steps, one tackle, touchdown, Cowboys. You're on the 10 yard line and you're playing seven yards off. You think he's going to catch one in the first row? But you got to feel for Lucas because they're not applying pressure to Robo. No. And this is Barber sidestepping his way, finding room to the outside. He's got one man to beat. And that one man drags him out of bounds, the 15 yard line, Richard Marshall. This time he's lined up opposite Jock Reeves, who is in for Terrence Newman, who has not returned since going to the sidelines with his own lower extremity problems. Moore will throw to the other side and have this one picked off by Anthony Henry. Henry at midfield cannot escape the uh, tackle of, who is that? Looks like Jordan Gross. Uh, you play them both. You find a way to get them both on the field in some way, shape, or form. Third and goal. And after the first one, the second one comes right away. This one courtesy of Greg Ellis, who leads the team in that department. What it seems so promising.
Fox at NFL headquarters, and he and I have debated in super slow motion whether something is pass interference, not pass interference. It's that tough a call to make. Second and eight. Panthers in desperate need of a stop. Barber bounces this one outside. Barber first down Cowboys, and that would seem to do it. Two weeks. Play action from Collins. He loses the football. It looked like the Redskins got back on top of it. Today with the Indianapolis Colts and some others. Toss to Portis, lost the ball and a big turnover. Brady James comes away with a football. How much better would they be? Second and 11. Pressure on Romo, who sidesteps Fletcher, throws for Hurd. And the pass out of bounds, caught out of bounds, incomplete. Well, here's the tail end of it, see if he's able to make the catch. They say he was out of bounds. He makes the catch oh. there, left knee's in. Left knee's in, left elbow was in. And it's good for Dallas. Well, you see Lennon Fletcher had a chance at Romo, but he does what he's been doing all season long. I mean, a free blitzer, and yet he's able to make him miss and still get this throw off. Now, he was open because of the bite here by Fred Smoot. You see there a double move to the outside by Hurd. And a great job by Tony Romo just keeping that play alive. How about the catch by Hurd? The Washington 29. Play action from Romo over the middle. Heard again. First down inside the 15. To the After the loss of Sean Taylor, he deserves a lot of credit for not letting this team quit. That one's knocked out of the hands of Collins and recovered by Spears. At 121 <laughs> at Dallas earlier this year with a touchdown. He's got 115 today on eight catches with a touchdown. And Brad Johnson with a pocket completes. Miles Austin on the catch. And Miles Austin is down to the 20. In 19. Love for the game is the purest of all because the game doesn't always love you back. In 2007, it lifted the Dallas Cowboys to rarefied air before dropping them back to earth. We're here together. We're a family. Let's go family on three. One, two, three, family. This was a band of brothers together they led the Cowboys to one of the finest seasons in their storied history. Their play lit up the Texas sky. Their philosophy came from the heart. Do what you love. Do what you love. It's just that simple. In 2007, the Cowboys scored more points than in any of their Super Bowl seasons, sent 13 players to the Pro Bowl, and won 13 games. The most impossible win in almost 30 years. Every play was a declaration. Every hit, an affirmation. The Cowboys played with passion. They played with joy. They simply loved to play. My gracious heavens, this is a gutsy display. This is what we do, and this is what we love. And the Dallas Cowboys are the champions of the NFC East. Love what you do, baby. Love what you do, baby. Do what you love. Love what you do. There you go. For the Dallas Cowboys, 2007 began as a season of promise. It was up to new head coach Wade Phillips to make sure it was fulfilled. You getting it ready? On you. All right, let's go. Play ball. Let's go, Proctor. Let's go. 
You got a fan out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere. Can't play without a what? Here's the bean. Can't play without a football. You can't play without a quarterback either. And yeah. in Tony Romo, the Cowboys have one of the league's best. That's a way to attack it. Starts with you. The coach of the Cowboys has always had to deal with great expectations. And with Romo beginning his first full season as a starter, 2007 would be no different. Well, we got high hopes. Against the Giants, Romo didn't disappoint, throwing four touchdown passes. P O T D. And third year running back Marion Barber helped seal Phillips' first win as coach of the Cowboys. Guard bounces out first down, gets the corner turn 15 and 10, still going five. Dive to the pylon. Touchdown! Marion Barber, what a run! This is our game ball. This is your first win of many to come. In Miami, Barber powered the Cowboys to victory with two touchdowns. Barber to the 30, Barber to the 10. Look at this kid. Look at this kid. Touchdown, Marion Barber. The next week, he scored twice more as Dallas defeated the defending NFC champs. Hanging off a man. Goal line. Touchdown, Barber. How does he do it? In 2007, each cowboy loved the game in his own way. Marion Barber's way was a perfect fit. He was the heartbeat of the Dallas offense. Do what you love. It's just that simple. As long as his legs kept pumping, the cowboys had life. Give it up, Marion. Look out. Oh, he's in the end zone. He's still running around. He's running right to left. Get out of the end zone. He does to the five. doesn't avoid contact. He relishes it. And tonight, Marion Barber is a beast, and the beast must be fed. And Marion Barber made him say out. One year after leading the NFC in rushing touchdowns, Barber ran for 10 more, earning him his first trip to the Pro Bowl. Oh, do you love watching Mary and Barber play I do. or what? I actually do. Barber's playing style is distinct. Terrell Owens' style is all his own. Yeah, y'all check me out. I look good. I dress sweet. Jerry Rice taught me about looking sweet. I'm dressed sweet, too. Early against the Rams, Owens didn't look as good as he had hoped. Deep down the left side for Owens, over the top, intercepted. I don't know what I was thinking on that 799. I like, dude, you underthrew me. You underthrew me. What is this thing? Dude, you underthrew me. I know, but you're supposed to go over there. I told you, I, I owe you one. I made a misread on that. T.O. was held without a TD. It didn't matter. The Cowboys offense exploded anyway. And in the third quarter, Owens found another way to contribute. Romo in the face of the blitz, throws it right, it's caught. Creek breaking away at the 50. Right to the 40, Creek to the 20. One man chasing a block from Owens at the two, and Creighton is in for the touchdown. Dude, I can turn it on. Wait do you see when, I, when Pat caught that ball? I took off. Chill. That just shows you how fast Terrell Owens is because Creighton is trying to get in the end. He wants that touchdown, and Owens just shoots by him. Later in the third quarter, Patrick Creighton caught his second touchdown pass, this time without Owens' help. It sealed the Cowboys' fourth straight victory to start the season. I'm trying to give me one of them things like y'all got. Y'all on y'all.
y'all way. Y'all yeah. need to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah, you know we saying? do that. Right on. Yeah, no doubt. I had it. Yeah. Dreams of Super Bowl rings are often interrupted by waking nightmares. In Buffalo, quarterback Tony Romo turned the ball over six times. And the Cowboys look destined for their first loss. Four interceptions in the first half. And that's how you lose a football game. Dallas entered the fourth quarter trailing by 11. But this Cowboys team was resilient, clawing back to within two. With under a minute to play, the final Dallas hope was an onside kick. Folks' kick is helmeted forward across. Oh, Dallas got it! Dallas got it at the 48-yard line. Thanks to a Bills timeout just before the snap, rookie Nick Folk nailed a game-winning field goal that didn't count. Buffalo called timeout with oh, the ball in the air. The Bills had tried to ice the Cowboys' Pro Bowl kicker. It didn't work. Another try for Folk. 53 to win. The ball is good! The kick is good! 53 yards! So this they, is the most improbable, impossible win I have seen in almost 30 years. I think the coaches get most excited right now when they come by a slap pass. This is their favorite time right here. You gotta calm him down once in a while. Tony Romo knows a thing or two about keeping calm. His is the cool hand that guides the Cowboys' offense. Here we go, baby. You can't get in the ship. Bring us yep. in, all right? Yeah. Told you. Against New England, the Cowboys would suffer their first loss of the season. But Romo kept his team in the game by standing up to the Patriot machine. Throws it over the middle. It's caught Owens at the seven, and he's stepping in with the drooled blitzers <laughs> dripping down into his face mask. Romo said, here, here, you catch this. In his first full year as a starter, Romo's greatest strength was turning crisis into opportunity, loss into gain. High snap over his head. Romo runs it down at the 25 and kicks it. Picks it up and runs left at the 20, Romo. you think the Cowboys had to work on that play this week? That's going to be on bloopers. Oh, yeah. like, oh, it will be on bloopers. I was like, oh, you just picked up the ball. Yeah, I thought you were just going to fall on it or something. Yeah, then you picked it up. I thought you like, And then it was Romo's game is joy personified. Part improvisation, part inspiration. Romo in trouble running up the middle. Keeps, throws it in the end zone. Wide open. Cut. Touchdown. Romo made that play on his own. In 2007, Romo was anything but on his own. He was protected by an offensive line which featured three pro bowlers. Center Andre Girard, number 65. What is this? Guard Leonard Davis, number 70. And tackle Flozell Adams, number 76. They gave Romo time to throw 36 touchdown passes, a Cowboys single season record. Romo is almost like Santa. Like they come, they sit on Romo's knee. I'd like a touchdown catch. I'd like a 100 yard receiver. For Romo's receivers, it was 60 minutes of Christmas every Sunday afternoon. Pro Bowler Jason Witten became the first Cowboys tight end to eclipse 1,000 receiving yards. And he earned every inch of it. Gracious heavens, this is a gutsy display. Wide receiver Patrick Creighton blossomed into a number two receiver. But in a crucial three-game stretch against the NFC East, the Cowboys' number one receiver made all the difference. I, I ain't going to say too much. I ain't going to say too much. I ain't going to talk. I ain't going to talk tonight. But we're going to get it on three. One, two, three, get it. To defeat a rival, to score while doing so. For Terrell Owens, there is no greater love. Owens, touchdown! Oh, he flaps his wings like a big eagle bird in the end zone. I 
man, I just want to thank everybody, man. You know, just to come in here, man. This is where I played, and you know, it, it was just big, man, for us to just play play as a unit, man. And it's gonna take games like this, man, and it take all of us together to make it happen. So, you know, this is one step to what we gotta be, man. <laughs> Against the second-place Giants, Owens broke a third-quarter tie. Promo down the right side into the end zone. Perfect throw. Touchdown, Terrell Owens. Oh, 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 oh. Can you close it? Can you put a nail in it? Watch Roger. Can you put a nail in it? Watch Roger. Can you put a nail in it, please? His second touchdown put the game away. Got a man. Owens at the 20. Owens to the 10. Eight and one, the Cowboys had a firm grip on first place, and they left no doubt. America's team was back. He a Cowboy fan, he's from New York. You can't help but to be a Cowboy fan. You can't help it. I know. And you from New York, right? You can't help it. You can't help it. Jersey, same thing. Actually, I'm a Packer fan. You a Cowboy fan after tonight? Hey, that was a team victory. It's tough to come up here and win. We've done it two weeks in a row. Oh, we got to keep it going, right? Now I got one good announcement. Hey! Victory Monday! Two down, one to go. Against the Redskins, the mantra was simple. With the Cowboys trailing by three in the third quarter, Owens embarked on one of the finest halves of football in his career. Touchdown to Cowboys! In 2007, Owens caught 15 touchdown passes, setting a new Cowboys single season record and earning him a trip to the Pro Bowl. Owens at the 10 all alone. For the third time today, Owens in the end zone. Love what you do, baby. Love what you do, baby. Love what you do. Terrell Owens does. On the day the Cowboys improved to 9 and 1 for the first time since 1983, Owens scored all of his team's touchdowns. Start pouring the mold for the statue. 52 yards to Owens. A resident superstar. It's better every day. It's going to be hard to top that one. Hey, man. Hey, hey, this is a straight team effort, man. Everybody make key plays. Us on three. One, two, three. Us. Good job, Ray. Good job, man. In 2007, the Cowboys were known for their offense, but their defense was just as crucial to winning games, like on Thanksgiving against the Jets. Happy Thanksgiving to you, Newman. Pro Bowl quarterback Terrence Newman and fellow corner Anthony Henry, number 42, combined for 10 interceptions. Anthony Henry! Wow. Wow is right. Safety Roy Williams, number 31, earned his fifth straight Pro Bowl appearance. And he was joined by fellow safety Ken Hamlin, number 26, who became a team leader in his first year as a Cowboy. Slow is not a word that describes DeMarcus Ware. <laughs> Ware's 14 sacks were the most ever for a Dallas linebacker, and he earned a trip to his second straight Pro Bowl. Here comes Ware. Gobble, gobble. Fellow linebacker Brady James led the team in tackles for the third straight year, while first-round draft pick Anthony Spencer made an immediate impact. And the rookie Spencer has made his presence felt tonight. Youth ruled on the defensive line. Thanks to the emergence of Jay Ratliff, number 90. Chris Canty, number 99. And Jason Hatcher, number 97. But the defense's biggest surprise was its longest tenured member. In his 10th year, linebacker Greg Ellis, number 98, went to his first Pro Bowl. 
thanks to his 12 and a half sacks and his leadership. I tell you, I've been here for 10 years. This is the biggest game that I've been a part of. So I'm telling everybody here, don't let us slip away. It's not guaranteed to come back. Take advantage of it right now. You hear what I'm saying? Right now, everything you got. On paper, the Cowboys and Packers were both 10 and 1, best in the NFC. On the field, the Dallas defense was ferocious. And the better team was obvious. Our 38-year-old body has taken a little bit of a beating here. Pressure and Farmers hit the ball, comes out. It's intercepted at the 45-yard line by Newman. It's going 81. It's going 81. Newman went from pickoff artist to prognosticator. Yes, sir. Dallas feasted on the Packers' defense, building a 17-point lead. And when Brett Favre's injury replacement began to bring the Packers back, more meat and potatoes football sealed a Cowboys win. Boy, and this Cowboys pass rush, this is as good as we've seen it this year. Yes. All, folks. The Cowboys hadn't finished in first place since 1998. Now, they were one win away from the NFC East Championship. But the Lions pummeled Tony Romo and built a 13-point lead. And a fourth-quarter comeback looked like it would fall just short. The ball came out before the knee went down, and the ruling on the field is a fumble by Witten at the goal line recovered by Detroit. After getting the ball back, the Cowboys trailed by six with just a few seconds left. It's the kind of situation in which redemption is found, and champions are made. Shotgun again, snap to Romo. Play fake, throws it in the end zone. Jason Witt caught it for a touchdown with 18 seconds left. The Dallas Cowboys trailed all day long until Jason Witten caught the winning pass, and the Dallas Cowboys are the champions of the NFC East. It takes a team. That's what it takes, and it takes belief. We have those two things, and now we have... All right, we got it. A season is down to one play. 16 seconds, no timeouts. In the playoffs, the Cowboys' magical season came to a sudden end. It is intercepted at the post. An interception with nine seconds left is going to end the Dallas Cowboys season. It's better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. Even if sometimes it doesn't seem that way. The Cowboys loved the game and lost and it hurt. But nothing can change what they accomplished or who they were. For a brief shining time, 2007 belonged to the Dallas Cowboys. And tomorrow may yet be theirs. In 2008, the Cowboys will add a pair of first-round draft picks. Arkansas running back Felix Jones and South Florida cornerback Mike Jenkins. And for tomorrow's stars, a future home. The Cowboys' new stadium rises in Arlington, slated to open in 2009. That means one last season in the sun for Texas Stadium, and the Cowboys hope to send it off right. In 2007, love for the game brought Dallas to brave new heights. Maybe it can bring America's team all the way back to the top.